number 10, kind of working our way backwards here, is our move to the simplified interface. So I know this is something that, uh, you know, we strongly encourage, you know, all of our clients to, to adapt right off the bat. Um, but now that we are officially uh, coming to the close of 2017, uh, you know, we're going to have to make that transition regardless. And again, the, the simplified interface is definitely the way to go. Um, really provides you with uh, more of an engaging forecasting and budgeting process and just makes a lot of sense from a streamlined uh, kind of capabilities standpoint. So moving on to number nine is the new simplified dimension error. So this is something we just talked about. You know, it's important for a couple reasons. You know, a lot like the simplified interface, it's very important because it's going to be the only way you can maintain your metadata within your application. So it's very important to know and understand how this feature works. Uh, but on top of that, the ability to navigate within your hierarchies the same way you would within SmartView really can make it a lot easier to uh, kind of navigate your metadata to make the updates that are necessary. So plus a lot of drag and drop, copy paste functionality is available in this. Uh, that really does uh, enable you as administrators to maintain your metadata uh, in a simplified way. So number uh, eight here being the activity reports. Um, this is going to be the, the a little more around all the enhancements to them throughout the year. Um, so we had um, kind of started out from a, a simple process where we could view um, some, some activity reports from a user standpoint in the application. Um, by the end of 2017, we were really able to look at uh, a lot of different components. So um, I think the most helpful from my perspective, just in there using the tool, um, is I like to look at the top seven user interface requests. So if you ever are finding challenges with your application or running into some performance issues, um, this can be a great tool to help isolate and give yourself a starting point onto, you know, maybe what some of those issues could potentially be. So if you see, you know, maybe there's a specific business rule that's taking longer than it used to, um, maybe there's potentially um, a data form that's taking longer to open than it has in the past, um, you know, that will explicitly point this out here. And the nice part, part there is it gives you a starting point. So maybe the dimensionality was changed in the application um, and some of the dense versus sparse dimensions were changed you know, that could potentially impact how you want to develop that form, right? So I think this is a great great tool to help you as an administrator of the system uh, really point out some of those pain points within the application.